Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video tutorial, I am going to show you how you can fix this error that you're seeing on the screen right now. It says you can't access the shared folder because your organization's security policies block unauthenticated guest access. Now this is a security feature by Windows and it is recommended that you do not bypass this unless um, there's a valid reason for you. Now I'm just going to quickly show you the Microsoft documentation that talks about about this particular issue. So by default, um, guest authentication is blocked by Windows. Enabling guest logons may be necessary where a user needs to access a resource on a server, but the server doesn't provide user accounts. Uh, so no authentication, it just provides um, the access to the resource, uh, thereby when you're accessing that resource, you come across as a guest. So um, proceed with caution. Um, always try to follow Microsoft recommended security uh, protocols and processes. Um, they're in place for a reason. But as the last option, if you need to enable the setting to get rid of that error that I just showed you, um, I'm going to show you now how to do that. Um, also, I'm going to put everything that I show in this video tutorial in um, the YouTube description box so you can um, refer to that if you want further information. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. Open your registry editor on the computer that you're facing this issue. So if you just click on the magnifying glass and type reg edit, you're going to see registry editor in the best match. You need to run it as administrator. So it is presumed that you have local administrator rights on your computer. If you do not, make sure you at least have a set of credentials that are local administrator on that particular machine so you can prompt them in the UAC prompt. So once you open registry editor, make sure you're not going to have that whole um, path when you first open it up. Uh, you're probably going to just have computer in the path. So what we need to do is we need to go to this location. So just I'm going to copy that and then paste it here. Let me just do that again. There you go. So this is the part that we need to create this registry editor key. And this is the name of the key. So let me put that in. So the name of the key is allow insecure guest auth. So I'm just going to copy that. Right click on the path. New dbird 32-bit value and I'm just going to rename the key to allow insecure guest oath and I'm just going to double click on it and change the value from 0 to 1 click OK and I'm going to go file and exit after you made that change go ahead and restart your local computer and try accessing that network resource or network drive once again and you will not or you should not get the same error. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, make sure to hit thumbs up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Goodbye.